This video is to show how you can use the capacitors and the bifiler coils. This is the transformer that I used in the last video. You got the primary here, 120 volt going in, which I'm going to be using connecting to the house mains and running off the secondary. It's a stock bifiler coil. I modified it by taking the center tap leads apart and running wires out so I can access those. This coil is a double loaded coil. I'm drawing power off of both ends on this. So I got a light bulb running from the original center tap and a meter there. I have a bipolar cap here and then two diodes. And then a regular cap here, 4700 microfarads. A DC meter here and I'm running a brush motor. There's two different types of loads there. You have the light bulb which is a regular resistance and then the motor. When you put a load on the motor the current increases. So we're going to take a look and see what happens. On this side I have a DC amp meter and we're set on DC volts there. We got an AC amp meter here and AC volts and I have a jumper going across right now to make this transformer like it's stock transformer I'm bypassing these capacitors and we're going to take a look at the light bulb on the watt meter here see how this transformer is reacting as far as efficiency goes we'll look at the power factor So with just our light, we're at a power factor of 80. I'm going to take the jumper off. And our power factor goes to 87. That's with the double loaded coil. And I'll put this on the watts. The motor's running right now. And you can see we've got 10.6 volts. And our amp meter is about 1.8 on the AC. That's for the light. And the DC. Yeah, we're about 0.25 amps. There's five point, yeah, bouncing around a little bit. I'm going to put a little load on this motor and notice what happens to the amps and volts. The current goes up on the motor like it normally would. So we're getting more current there to create more torque. And the volts go down. But the current goes down on the light and the volts go up. So we're still getting the, the power of torque at the motor from the current flow. I don't know if you can see, but the uh, that light does get slightly brighter. We have a transferring of power 
energy wise going to the light but the mechanical torque from the amps in the motor is still there at the uh, the watts here from the input remains pretty much the same maybe going up one watt Thanks for watching.